Okay, so this is to help with the analysis of the iodine lab. Um, so if we look at sort of what some of our numbers are. Um, this is with made up uh, with my solutions. Um, so let's say um, we did a known, and, and you guys have multiple knowns. Let's say we had about took about 116 milligrams of ascorbic acid, and we titrated with our diluted iodine, and it ended up being 38.82 milliliters. And then we also then took some tang. Now this took 100 mils of tang, and it needed 12.07 mils to do this. Now this isn't, you know, mine was made up a little differently than yours, so don't just, you know, assume that whatever my answer is is what your answer is going to be. Okay, so if we're going to work this data up, then uh, first we need to get the concentration of the molar of the iodine. Okay, and so if we have 0 0.0116, so ultimately what we want is we want moles of iodine per liter. Um, I don't really worry about the uh, tighter thing. So we have um, 0 0.116 grams of ascorbic acid, and we know that the molecular weight of ascorbic acid is 166 grams of ascorbic acid per mole of ascorbic acid. Okay. So now we need to figure out what the conversion is. And we don't really know the reaction between the iodine and the ascorbic acid, but all we know is it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So one mole of ascorbic acid reacts with one mole of I2. It's, it's technically Ki3, but we're just going to call it I2 for sake of, of making it easy, okay? And then, so that gives us moles of iodine that were consumed. And then we just need to get the volume component, and we need to get it in moles per liter. So we're going to have to divide by the moles per liter. So if we do that math, that should give us a concentration, if I did my math right, of 0 0.0170 molar, okay, with a capital M. Okay, so that's how you would do that. And you would do that with all of them and try to get, you know, you did three of those or something like that try to get an average number so you have, hopefully they're really close, okay? Now the next question then is to use this solution in the tang and find out how many milligrams of ascorbic acid are in that sample. Okay, so if we used 100 milliliters of tang, it took 12.07 milliliters of iodine, okay? And that's per liter, sorry. And we had, we calculated as 0 0.0170 moles iodine per liter. Okay, so that would be, that gives us moles of iodine. We then have the conversion factor again, one mole of iodine consumes one mole of ascorbic acid. Okay, and then we have 176 grams of ascorbic acid per mole of ascorbic acid. Okay, so if we do all that multiplication then, I think think, if I did my math right, that gives us somewhere on the order of 36. Now that would be milligrams, okay, so it's 0 0.036 grams, which is 36 milligrams in that 100 mil sample. Then you could figure out how many, you know, that milligrams that would be per fluid ounce, and that would get you sort of the, the RDA or, or however you want to calculate it.